all of the individuals recognized this evening have set a high bar in service to our country and support of its defenders. As members of the Daughters of the American Revolution, we too set a high bar in the efforts we support. Many of you have sent packages and letters to our troops for years to show your support for them. We will find out later if we were able to achieve the high bar we set for ourselves of compiling 10,000 letters in one month to send to our troops in order to set a Guinness World Record. But first, here to tell us about some of the ways our members have supported our troops over the past three years is the National Chair of the DAR Project Patriot Committee, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Jennifer Minus. Colonel Minus. <laughs> Madam President General, tonight we have had the privilege to honor groups and individuals for their selfless service to our active duty military and our veterans during this, our annual National Defense Night tribute. It was so important that we do so. In 1781, General Washington stated, the willingness with, with which our young people are likely to serve in any war, no matter how justified, shall be directly proportional to how they perceive the veterans of earlier wars were treated and appreciated by their nation. I think that our first commander in chief would be grateful for the support provided by these descendants of the men he led. During the course of the young administration, the National Society, through the DAR Project Patriot Committee, has donated more than $250,000 to programs that support service members and their families. Oh, wait. Sent more than 12 million coupons to overseas troops. And mailed tens of thousands of comfort packages to deployed and naval forces. Madam President General, please join me in recognizing our members for this amazing demonstration of support for our military forces. As someone who is deployed to Bosnia and Iraq, I can tell you that few things touch our service members in quite the same way as does a handwritten, heartfelt letter from a complete stranger. So as someone who has raised her right hand, sworn to defend and protect the United States of America, I want to thank you for the thousands of letters that you gathered during our attempt to set a world record in patriotism. But know that no matter how many letters we collected, please remember that each one mailed next week and any that you mail in the future mean more to our defenders than can ever be measured. Each letter represents the support of a grateful nation, a priceless expression of appreciation for their valor, sacrifice, and commitment to the ideal that is America. On behalf of my brothers and sisters in arms, active and veteran, I thank you for your support of America's military. Thank you, Jen, and thank you for your leadership of the DAR Project Patriot Committee. As a grand finale to both our Celebrate America Service Initiative as well as our Celebrate 125 anniversary celebrations, we set out on an ambitious goal to set a world record in patriotism. We already knew how committed our members were to our nation's active duty service members, sending thousands of cards and care packages each year. We challenge you to see if you, we could actually collect the most letters to military personnel in one month, 10,000 letters. That is a number we had to beat in order to achieve an official Guinness World Record. Allow me to thank you for your efforts in collecting these letters, but those letters are far more eloquent than your President General. Consider Bree, a Girl Scout from Fort Wayne, Indiana, who wrote, Dear Soldier, just thank you for risking your life in the military. 
or Caitlin, an elementary student from Oceanside, California, who wrote, thank you for being my hero. <laughs> Go USA, hogs and kisses. And from the governor's mansion, our prayers are for your safety and your return to family and friends. Signed, Nathan Deal, governor of Georgia. Well, I've been watching those cards being dropped off all week, and should we see just how many we have collected? All right. Oh, oh, here they come. That looks pretty impressive. I am awestruck by this display of patriotism. Thank you, daughters, for honoring our men and women in uniform. But to find out officially how many letters we collected, we must introduce our Guinness World Records adjudicator, Kelly Ferrick. Ms. Ferrick. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Guinness World Records, I would like to thank all of you for inviting me to this amazing celebration here today. We are so pleased to witness the 125th anniversary ceremonies of the Daughters of the American Revolution, and we salute you for your service to America. On behalf of our entire organization, please allow me to extend sincere congratulations and appreciation for your service work in historic preservation, education, and patriotism. After learning more about your more than 14 million hours of service during the current administration and your recent national DAR day of service, we were impressed and excited for the opportunity to witness your world record attempt. I am an authorized representative of Guinness World Records and I am the assigned adjudicator for your attempt, which is officially classified as the most letters to military personnel collected in one month. As you've already heard a few times this evening, the minimum letter count established to set the world record is 10,000 letters. In addition, there were specific requirements related to the quality and content of each letter submitted as part of the record attempt. As the Guinness World Records adjudicator, I can confirm that all guidelines and procedures were properly followed for this record attempt today. However, during the official adjudication process today, it was necessary to disqualify approximately 700 letters. While these letters will still be mailed as per the participants' instructions, the cards themselves failed to meet the specific requirements and therefore had to regrettably be discounted from the official count. Madam President General, we recognize that this was a large undertaking for your organization. 
If the audience will please turn its attention to the overhead screens, we will together see the final number of letters that qualified for inclusion in this attempt. One hundred thousand nine hundred and four letters were collected and counted here today. <laughs> Madam President General, it's my honor to present you with a certificate that will recognize your achievement today. <laughs> Congratulations, the DAR has indeed set a new Guinness World Records title. <laughs> and I now get to say that you are all officially amazing. Thank you. I love numbers like that. Now, let's go back <laughs> one more time. 100,000. What was that number again, Kelly? <laughs> okay. I am so proud of each of you and your willingness to engage your chapters and your community members to collect these letters. Congratulations. Ladies, you have claimed a world record in patriotism. Way to go. Thank you to Leslie Pfeiffer, National Vice Chair, Celebrate 125 Special Events, the DAR Project Patriot Committee, and our volunteers who help collect and organize these letters to be prepared for the official adjudication this week. And thank you to our pages for showing us what a world record number of letters look like. They will now retire with more than 100,000 letters to be mailed next week to our men and women in our America's Armed Forces.